Toy hunting at a local toy show and for discounted action figures at Ollie's. All coming up on the next Action Collectibles and More video. Yeah, so I found two more Vitas here. All right, so I just uh, arrived at Ollie's. I'm gonna have this place for the uh, toy show. I not have any uh, good vintage collection stuff here. I know they have uh, vintage collection in Black Series, like I said, um, in the intro, so see you inside. Okay, so I'm down the action figure aisle, and so here's some vintage collection right here. Destai Droid. And this one is $10. And this is a Walmart exclusive that you probably not find at Walmart. I know I've never seen it in Walmart pegs. Um, I got mine delivered and got them all crushed. So look at these. They actually, these are actually in good condition as well. Wow. Yeah, I remember when they first came out, I paid and got up, got the whole wave and most of these got crushed. So this is definitely there's quite a few of them here. Some more retro. More retro. So a so good re retro is and then the yeah, the coin collection. Here you still have the rays. Still not selling. Pretty good here. Got more, more black series. Oh, look at this. Really good Akai figures here. Yeah, I know this figure was going for a lot before they released, released her in the um, Akai figure, but um, yeah, I got Dengar. So these are, these are $10. So you get Dengar for $10. Lando Skiff. The Emperor for 10 bucks. Another emperor. So that is a good buy. I think. Uh, more yeah, troopers and look, uh, Clone War stuff here. Awesome. This is this is a steal. Four dollars for this. Wow. I think that's the only character they have. Maybe they have more here. I'm definitely gonna get one of these for four bucks. Again, another Walmart exclusive that I never seen on the pegs in Walmart. And then some more archive figures here, Death Troopers for 10 miles. Nice. And then you have the Grief coin collection here. So, for me, this is, this is the best score of the day for me. Can't beat that four dollars. Some more, more black series over here. Pretty much the same stuff I had last time, but it looks like they have more. They add this character. I forget her name. Martin Skywalker. Yeah, so we got a whole bunch of these now. Yeah. So it's the only different black series figure besides the archive figures. Good, and I also have some of these here, some Mission Fleet stuff here. Now, cool. Got fat. So some Mission Fleet stuff. But I am going to pick up another one of these probably get a better one than I have now and open the other one it's a great figure so I'll grab one of these for ten dollars okay so I did pick up a couple of vintage collection figures at Ollie's uh, great prices great condition on the cards minus the price tag which I very easy to get off. So right now I'm heading over to that um, to that toy show.
Yep, so pretty much got what I wanted. Cool. Okay, so I definitely got some really good stuff at both the Toy Show and Ollie's. Uh, the Toy Show was really small, only cost $5 to get in there, but they had some um, some good discounted figures in there. Uh, I'll get to that in a minute, but I did pick up the Death Star, Darth Vader, uh, VC280. It's the newest wave that's out. Yeah, you can find this figure in Walmart if you're lucky, but I picked up at this Toy Show for $20. Uh, the guy had a few of them. He had two up on the stand, and um, those were kind of, uh, had some bad cards. This one, the card is pretty good. It's a tiny little marker right here, but... Um, I'm gonna get one to open as well, so this might be my opener. For twenty dollars, um, not too bad. If you're going to Hasbro Pulse site, if they're going for sixteen ninety nine, uh, plus shipping and tax, it's gonna be probably even more than twenty dollars. So I was there, happy to see it, and I picked it up. Um, at the same toy show, uh, some guy had like a fin of figures, and he was selling them for five dollars each. So I got this Clone Wars figure and this. Attack of the Clones Obi Wan for five dollars each, uh, and they're actually in really good condition. So this is the last figure in, in this wave, you know, with the Ahsoka and um, Anakin and Mace Windu that I needed. So for five dollars, you can't go wrong. And the same thing with this figure here. So um, that's discounted figures, right? And then at the Ollies, this was ten dollars, not as discounted as the other vintage collection figures, but still a hard figure to get at one point. And actually, this card back, I mean, minus a sticker, which I'll probably get off no problem, is in better condition than the one I have at home. If you remember when Walmart sent these out, they sent them out in envelopes, and all these got crushed. And here we are with a figure that's in really good condition. So that's great. And I got the Clone Wars figure. Um, this again, this is the Clone Wars wave. So I'm kind of um, thinking they're all going to be hitting soon. You know, they had this this character, and I'm guessing. Secure and all the other clone troopers might might hit there as well, but you know maybe they're having solid cases of these figures. But again, this is crazy. This is actually four dollars for this figure, and again, never sold this on the Walmart shelf. So always oh, the place to go you know, if you want cheap figures, and it's a good way to you know get some good figures too. So um, anyway, so good successful hunt. I got what I needed. Got some discounted figures. Got Darth Vader. Um, don't have to wait to get them in the mail or go to Walmart. Uh, so that's it for today. Uh, more videos coming up soon. I'm not sure when this video is gonna go up. I have uh, a couple things to do over the next couple days, so it might go out midweek. But if it does, I hope everyone's having a great week. And like always, go get yourself some discounted finished collection figures.